Hi there, Stacy here from Stitches by Stacy. Today, we're going to look at the linen stitch. The linen stitch is composed of two different stitches, an e-wrap stitch and a yarn in back stitch. And we alternate the stitches depending on the row of what we're doing, and that'll give us the staggered look. So let's begin. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put stitch markers on alternating pegs. You'll notice I've got elastics on the alternating pegs, and the other ones I've left blank. You'll also notice I've left my, my project in the middle of a row and I haven't worked my e-wrap stitches. And that way it keeps me on track of what I'm doing to what peg next. So this was clearly a worked behind, a yarn behind. So now I'm going to e-wrap that peg and not work it. The previous row's peg, I work the e-wrap and that means this now becomes a yarn behind. This one becomes an e-wrap. Previous row, I work that e-wrap, and from the bottom, I grab and place the yarn behind, giving it a little tug so that it works nice and smooth. And this last one becomes an e-wrap. My final peg is always a u-wrap peg, regardless of the pattern, and that keeps me gives me a nice smooth edge. When I change directions, I skip the first peg, bring my yarn back in the front, I work the previous row's e-wrap, and now that peg becomes a yarn behind. This becomes the e-wrap, and so on. And now you've got the linen stitch. So I'm Stacy from Stitches by Stacy. Thanks for watching.